to a cozy fall travel vlog. Today we're flying to Seattle for part one of our vacation. We're spending a week in the Pacific Northwest, starting with a few days in Seattle before venturing outwards. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain, beauty in the Monday. And as the Every time I visit Seattle, I get the homiest vibes, even though I've never actually lived here. The whole city just makes me want to cuddle up with a blanket, tea, and a book. I just, I really can't explain it. It's definitely a feel-good city for me. It's been three or four years since I last visited, so I'm really excited for this trip and really excited to share it with you. actually day two now, it's the morning, and we're starting by checking out the Starbucks Reserve. I feel like it's kind of basic, but I actually do love Starbucks Reserves. If you remember my Chicago vlog, that one was so good. So yeah, we're gonna check this one out. After the roastery, we drove over to a residential neighborhood close to UW. My boyfriend's dad grew up here, so that's why we we're exploring. Actually, the main motivation of this trip was to revisit some of the places my boyfriend and his family used to visit. So this was a fun trek down memory lane for them. We're here with one of my boyfriend's brothers and his wife. They actually planned this whole trip and they asked if we wanted to tag along, so shout out to them. A fun fact for you, my boyfriend's dad lived a few houses down from Bill Gates growing up. Okay, so this is one of the coolest things in Seattle, and I'd highly recommend you check it out. These are the locks between Lake Washington and Puget Sound. The lake is at a higher level than the sound, so the locks are here to help boats move between the sound and the lake. It basically acts like an elevator. There's a portion of the passageway that is blocked off by locks on either side, and in this portion, they can control the water level. So if a boat wants to go from the higher elevated Lake Washington to the lower elevated Puget Sound, Sound, they raise the water level in this portion to match that of the lake and then they open the locks on the lake side and let the boats in. They then slowly pump out water to lower the water level and therefore lower the boats along with it. Once the water level is equal to that of the sound, they open the lock on the sound side and the boats can exit into the sound and it's a super cool piece of engineering. It's my first time seeing a lock system in person. Highly recommend. <laughs> Of course, we have to check out Pike Place Market. I always am amazed that these gorgeous, beautiful flower bouquets, they like range anywhere from like 10 to $20. I had to grab a bouquet and take advantage of this. Pike Place Market has the first original Starbucks and it has my favorite Chinese bakery. Every time I come to Seattle, I have to go get this pineapple bun. If you don't know what a pineapple bun is, it's just a sweet bread and it has like a sugary kind of crumble coating on top. and we're in the process of making our way from Seattle to San Juan Island. We're spending the day on San Juan Island, then taking a ferry to Orcas Island where we have our accommodations, staying on Orcas Island for I think two or three nights, and then we'll head to our next destination. We're so excited. It's literally so beautiful out here, and the drive was so scenic.
ferry connects the San Juan Islands to the mainland. The San Juan Islands are made up of hundreds of islands, five of which are accessible by this ferry. The ferry ride over had me feeling so giddy. We passed island after island, lots of hidden tucked away cabins, so many sailboats, it was just so scenic. That's the ferry in the background that we just got off of, and we're now in Friday Harbor. Friday Harbor is, I think, the biggest town of all of the island towns, and it is quite charming. I think that's one thing about the San Juan Islands is that they are so beautiful and pretty accessible from Seattle, but they are not at all run down by tourists. In fact, most people that we saw were locals and people who live nearby that go out to the islands for like biking or whale watching or doing any of the sorts of outdoor activities that are available. There's so many outdoor activities. We spent the day just driving around the highland and checking out all of the spots. One of my favorite places was Roche Harbor. This place was just so stunning and this place right here had the best clam chowder I've ever had. We then hopped back on the ferry and made our way to Orcas Island. In Orcas Island, we're kind of glamping in this tent situation. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour. So it has this little futon, our bed, and this little table, and that's basically it. Oh, there's also some firewood for our little campfire. guys I didn't film a lot yesterday but we spent the whole day on Orcas Island we hiked up to Mount Constitution and then we just hung around the resort made a bonfire did s'mores had dinner today we are going to Lopez Island which is one that holds some more of the family memories so I'm excited that he's bringing me along for that came out and we just got some kayaks. We just 
visited my boyfriend's grandpa's old house. We initially just stopped outside, and the person who lives there now popped out and was like, oh, you guys are totally free to walk around. He was just so kind. Everyone on this island is so nice, especially with like the hand waving in the car. It's so wholesome. So one of the core memories that my boyfriend has of Lopez Island is building forts on the beach with all the driftwood, which by the way, there's so much driftwood. I've never seen a beach with so much driftwood before, but yeah, so this is us attempting to build a fort. I've never built a fort before because, again, never been on a beach with so much driftwood. Even though our fort didn't work out, my boyfriend, his brother, and his brother's wife built this one while I was journaling on the beach. They did such a good job, and I kind of contributed too. I helped put like two logs on there. So yeah, definitely makes up for our failed first try. The next morning, it was time to make our way back to the mainland and we drove over to the Cascades. We spent most of our time in the Cascades hiking and exploring these beautiful old growth forests. Last morning here, so sad to be going home, but we had such a nice day in this gorgeous, gorgeous Airbnb right on the Cascade River. It's just so beautiful. Today we're gonna drive down to Seattle and then our flight is later today, like 8 p.m. Such a beautiful time here in Washington. So charming, so sad to be going home. Yeah. 